Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Travel Dev. I'm here with my co-pilot, Juan. <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? We're here for Mastermind Part 2, where we basically talk about our goals and how we're moving towards um, location independence or digital nomadism or extra patriotism. So we have a list of topics today, including a trip, uh, courses, projects, interviews, and meetups that had happened during the week. And so I'm going to let Juan kick it off because the trip is something that he's going to be doing. So I think I talked about this last uh, meetup we did. Yeah. So I already bought my ticket to Austin. So I should be there next. I should be there in Austin next Tuesday. Sweet, dude. <laughs> and my Airbnb is confirmed. So I do have a consistent place to stay. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty excited just to be in the city, to be honest, and um, just to network with people and get yeah. to know the city better. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, um, we'll see what happens once I get there. What's your uh, yeah. place that you booked like? And what's the flight like? Was, do you have trouble booking it? Oh, if, if I had trouble booking it? Yeah, just the flight and also the, the place that you're staying at. Well, I, I was really thinking a lot about the flight because I was wondering if I needed to be, buy a two-way um, a round-trip flight just in case things don't work out or whatever. Right. But then with it's just dependent on the price. But I'm like, well, I'm just, I'm just trying to save money. So I didn't have any trouble, I guess, buying a ticket with American Airlines. It just turned out to be around fifty-ish dollars. Yeah. Compare with um, Delta, that was like one hundred and twenty or something, just <laughs> one way. So I'm like, okay, like. But then, if I if I wanted to do a round trip with Delta, it was two hundred four. But if I wanted to do a round trip with American Airlines, it turned out to be two fifty. Okay. But then again, I, then but then if I did this, if I bought the ticket to Austin from here, uh, it was it was gonna be fifty six, and if I bought it from uh, Austin to Virginia, it was gonna be one one hundred two, which the whole price was gonna turn out to be one fifty nine. Right, still cheaper. So, right? Still cheaper. Nice. Um, but yeah, Airbnb. It's um, it looks kind of like a hostel. There's mm -hmm. a bunch. I mean, the description said a bunch of um, it's just techies. Geeks, college students, I don't know what else. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of people I'm going to meet there that do like different things that I do. Right. On. So <laughs> it should be fun, though. It should be fun. I'll take pictures or something so you can see. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah. Excited for you to come get, uh, come here to Austin. And then yeah. there's uh, some events that we got lined up and yeah. uh, mostly job fairs. And I'm, I'm really excited to introduce Juan to one of the groups I've been attending and they're they're really nice people they're really warm and i think uh, he would enjoy it as well um anything else on your trip before we jump to the next topic um nothing yet i mean i already want to be there so it's just time <laughs> just gotta wait <laughs> yeah you'll be here soon enough yeah. um for our next topic we're going to talk about courses um i'll kick this one off basically as far as courses go i've been working on front-end masters and it's a course called javascript the hard parts with will sentence I, I don't know how to say his name sentence okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um it's covering a lot of topics so far <clears throat> um we went over what was it execution context closure object oriented programming promises and inheritance is what i've been covering the past couple of days and i gotta say like this guy he explains it like really visually like he draws it on the board so you're able to see kind of where things are moving and that really helps for me because i'm a visual learner and right. then i took the motivation from the way that he taught and i actually made a tutorial video um which i'll link on here as well i uh, made a javascript series on my other channel um if you want to check that out and it's going over execution context. And that's that's the first one I got. So nice. Dude. Pretty excited to get that up. Um, that's as much as the the course that I'm doing right now. I'm trying to stick to just one and just, you know, get through it and then move on to the next one. And how about on your end, man? Like what courses are you doing? So I haven't been doing that much lately. I mean, like I've been doing college, so 
mm-hmm. homework basically, but one of my classes is human interaction design. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of cool. And then the other one I'm taking is psychology, which is not, I'm not, it's interesting, but I'm, I'm not a fan of that stuff. I mean, I guess it's good to learn, but I'm not really diving that deep into it. Mm-hmm. And then the other course I'm going to get into, it's like back then I used to take Udacity courses. Mm. But I mean, it's it's really good content. The only thing that was that I had to do to cancel the subscription, it was just way too expensive. It's like 200 oh. a month. Oh, man. Yeah. So I, I did like for like a year and then I was like, God damn, uh, I can't keep doing this. It's like 200 <laughs> a month. <laughs> like I could save that for something else. All right. Because there's free stuff out there. It's just, I mean, the content's good. And I'm sure it's worth the price. But then again, that's 200 a month. Yeah, and there's always other cheaper courses like, you know, Front End Master is what we're doing, uh, Pluralsight, yeah. and uh, what the Egghead IO is the other one, but that's less, you know, full, you know, full course. It's more like little snippets. Right. Um, yeah. So have you actually jumped into the Udacity stuff again, or you just. Yeah, there? yeah. I, I jumped in where I left off when I canceled my subscription. So I'm jumping in back into Scoop and Closures. Nice. And then I do have some projects left to finish that, I guess, nano degree, whatever they call it. Okay. So I'm going to get that done because there's a game in the scope and closures. There's, there's a game project I need mm-hmm. to do. So that should be fun to do. And the plan after finishing that Udacity thing is to do the FEM, mm-hmm. JavaScript, the hard parts. I think you said it's called. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to dive deep because I really need to brush up on my JavaScript stuff. Yeah. And I I, so. I think I was saying to you this week as well, like we thought we were getting into JavaScript pretty deeply, but it turns yeah. out like there's it goes really, really deep because um, the way that Kyle Simpson explains it or Will Sentence, it just makes you kind of you didn't know what was there before until you kind right. of heard about it. Yeah. Yeah, the other funny thing, though, it's like the last video you posted to your other channel, you were talking about the call stack, right? Yeah. Before you posted that video, I ran into a call stack question. <laughs> so I'm like wondering, what the hell is this? Because I never heard this thing yeah. before. And then I saw your video. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I just thought it was kind of funny. I ran into your video after that. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. That's why I put it out there to help people like myself, because I, I'm going to watch it again, you know, if I forget and like help out people like you as well and um i think we were talking about maybe just interacting with each other trying to explain you know the concept back and forth that way it sticks in our minds right Mm -hmm. and yeah um definitely we're going to jump into fem and like just a couple things here i'm sure you've never heard of cove before cove no yeah closed lid uh variable environment or PLSRD, it's it's the same thing, but there's all these terminologies floating around. I'm like, what's what's all this? I didn't even hear about it until I took the course. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. Um, I think that's we're good with courses. You want to move on to the next topic? Yeah, I guess let's do projects. Yeah. Um, for my end, project wise, I'm just working on my travel dev website. I'm building it in Next.js, and so far I have the nav bar going, and I have the header, which includes like a YouTube video and just some some messages. But right. I think just setting it up was kind of the more the hard part. Like, how do you want to structure your your source folder, all your components, right. and and styling and stuff like that? I'm still working on it. I'll keep you guys up to date. The other part is the Discord server. Um, we do have it working here, as you can see because we're recording it from it, but I actually haven't made a video to introduce it to the audience yet. And I'd like to do that and show you the different commands for the music bot and also kind of, you know, the way uh, things are working in the channel. Um, what's What do you got going on your plate in terms of projects? So projects, so I think I told you I got my site down like last week, I think. So that's done. The only thing oh, I need yeah. to finish is the um, I need to make the uh, menu responsive. I mean, it's just I got to add a ham- hamburger uh, button mm-hmm. and make it responsive. But that's and then add some cards, I guess, card looking sections to the projects section to just display some projects I've done. 
Yeah. And then besides my website, I launched the my music project website too. Right. So that's pretty basic right now, but since I made it with Next, because uh, I heard you talk about Next a lot, yeah. so I picked that up. But then again, I need to look into like I guess I don't know if, if you can call them packages because I want to. Um, I guess I want to have the ability to play songs from my site. Mm. So I'm sure there's something with Next I I, I can use to do that. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Mm. And besides that, um, that's mostly it. I mean, besides the Loquella app we're working on. Yeah. Um, I guess just real quick on Loquella, we are moving along, right? Yeah. We deployed it to uh, a main uh, domain. And then we also have a subdomain for the dev branch, which is nice. And um, we were just, I kind of, we, we were just kind of trying to get deployment up and running. But as far yeah. as, making moves on the UI and design. I think that's the goal for next week. So that's what I have to say uh, about it. What what else did right. I miss? Um, I think that should be it. It's just pretty basic right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. I'm going to jump to interviews, if that's cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I have a funny story to tell you, man. Okay. Basically, this guy at Cognizant uh, hit me up and he said, I have a React.js developer position, and it's in Austin, Texas. Okay. I was like, cool. So I took the exam and everything, and I I had difficulties because I downloaded the repo. And when I tried to push it up, it said the branch wasn't existing. So I emailed them like, hey, listen, I finished. This is a I'm, this is the email at this time, so you know, like I I didn't stall for another hour or whatever. And the guy's like, okay, let me see if I can get you another opportunity to work on it. I'm like, okay. And I waited. The guy messaged me back and he said, we have an interview lined up for you for a position called full stack Java developer. (laughs) I'm like, wait, do you mean JavaScript? Because I've never worked on Java before. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm talking to this guy on the phone and okay, I don't really, I'm not watching people's races or whatever, but uh, he was Indian. He was kind of pushing, you know, like, I don't know if you felt that before. They kind of push a lot. And like, you know what? Why don't you just take the the interview and just see how you do? It doesn't hurt. I'm like, uh, okay, but I've never done Java. And it, clearly it says there's a live coding session and debugging session. So I'm like, <laughs> is this even worth my time showing up, right? <laughs> right. God, uh-huh. dude. And the other good news is that one of my recruiters that hooked me up with Visa, he actually um, said that he found an opportunity at Home Depot as nice. a. I think it was a soft. It was software. It was front end engineer. That was the title, and I'm hoping to do that next week, as well as another company in Houston, which is an on site. So. That's kind of what I have going on for interviews. Um, do you have any phone calls recently or application status updates? Um, yeah, I mean, I still got to finish a take-home test. I got sent by, um, I, I think I showed you it, but it's by Cloudflare. Mm-hmm. So I still need to finish that, those questions. It's, I mean, it sounds, some of them seem complicated, so I'm gonna I'm just going to try to answer, <laughs> like, whatever I can find. And then I did have a call last week with a re- well, it was a person that was hiring direct- directly for this um, company that does server stuff. Hmm. But it was for a position doing. Um, remember my position when I used to work at Facebook in the data center? Yeah, it was basically the same thing. So I'm like, well, I'm not trying to get back into that again. I mean, <laughs> it's it's cool if it gets me to Austin. It's cool, but. Uh, like I'm studying web development, so if if not, I'm not doing that exactly. It's like, right? What am I doing? <laughs> um, but yeah, she told me, well, I'm gonna keep your resume um, in place just in case you change your mind. So if you change your mind, if you want a job, just call me back. Okay. So that's just that's. I think that's there just for an, an emergency. If I need it, need it, I'll Good give her a call or job. something. Yeah. And besides that. Um, other jobs. I mean, I've, I've been applying. I just haven't heard back yet. 
Yeah. So what I'm going to keep doing it this week, though, just before I get there to Austin, but I'm going to still do it once I'm there in Austin. Yeah. So just keep applying nonstop. So we'll see. But that's mostly it on my end. Yeah, and I think the strategy I've been using recently is just, here, here's what happened. When you go to a job fair, you kind of meet them, and then they give you your contact, you give them the resume, your resume. Mm-hmm. But really, nothing comes out of it. It's basically like if you were applying online, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Because all they say to you is like, go ahead and visit our website, apply on there, or whatever. <laughs> and it's basically like if you were sitting at home, in a sense. The only thing right. is that you meet maybe the recruiter face to face or one of the engineers face to face, but the other thing is like I I take it a step further and if I get their contact information I'll actually hit them up instead of applying on on the site because I'll send them a message like hey it was nice to meet you at this fair or this event um, this is my resume uh, do you still have the position open are you looking to hire something you know right now you know just kind of hit them right away because again you don't want to be at the bottom of a stack somewhere right so recently i've just been trying to apply to jobs three or four jobs a day on linkedin and then these job fairs are kind of like they help too but i think meetups is where it's at because meetups you end up meeting a lot more types of people that have that are currently working at companies and can maybe hook you up but job fairs, man, I feel like it's just another LinkedIn. Might as well just sit at home and do it, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. <clears throat> and the very last topic here, I just got meetups. I just want to throw in there, I've been going to the uh, Hispanic Hackers here in uh, Austin, Texas. Nice. And they've been really cool. They focus mostly on career development for web developers. And they speak Spanish, so something of interest for us both and they've just been really warm like they the people actually communicate with each other because some of the other meetups i go to they kind of just like people come listen to the talk and then they go home eat some pizza that's it and like that sucks i want to connect with people yeah (laughs) wait do they do a talk or something yeah so one of the talks i went to was how to do a startup and it was basically a startup lawyer focusing on i forgot the term for it but he does the laws for the startup companies he's familiar with all that so i sat through an hour of it and i definitely learned a lot about starting a company but not something i'm going to do right now maybe in the future i will same yeah yeah that's cool man cool um before we run off here you got anything else you want to throw in for this mastermind Mm, i think that should be it that should be it man all right man quick and clean <laughs> awesome. all right cool um good to chat with you let's try to do it again next week and just see where we're at and see how we're closer we're moving to our goals sounds good man all I'll right see you see you man